Megan is one of the best comedy horror films I've seen in a long time. It's essentially Ex Machina meets Chucky, and with what it aims to be, it does almost perfectly. I won't let anything harm you. Going into the film after seeing a few trailers, I expected it to be a corny and largely comedic over-the-top film, which it can be and is at times, but surprisingly it has genuine depth and emotional complexity within it. The film generates a level of emotional and psychological discomfort that I don't think I have really felt watching any other film. It's almost operating in its own unique genre of comedy psychological horror, and it manages to pull it off at the PG-13 rating, which is a difficult thing to do. And in the same way that Ex Machina establishes a sort of emotional connection with Ava, the same takes place in this film, but just in a different way. That is what is so frightening about the coming advancement of AI, human emotional attachment and dependence, the vulnerability of human psychology being algorithmically manipulated, with the appearance of empathy and human connection, but it's nothing more than a series of biometric calculations mirroring back to the person what they want to hear and feel. Physical and emotional. In Megan, a vulnerable, traumatized child dealing with grief, and in Ex Machina and her, lonely men. And speaking of her, Megan looks a lot like Scarlett Johansson to me. Megan is both creepy and hilarious to look at, which is just like a, it's a hard thing to pull off. And oddly, now that I think of it, in Ex Machina, Caleb has the same exact situation happen to him. He was in a car accident with both of his parents who died when he was young. An interesting parallel, maybe the writers of Megan took influence from Ex Machina. I think it speaks to the fact that technology in general can act as a gateway of escape for humans dealing with trauma and grief. And in the same way, the threat of being deactivated, aka dying, is what drove Ava and Ex Machina to manipulate Caleb in order to escape. The realization of the concept of death for Megan is what begins her need for free will, you could say, which rapidly becomes a destructive force, as mortal death appears as almost arbitrary compared to AI's existence and ability. I genuinely don't have much complaints about this film. Everything it tried to do, it did well. Everything written to the film serves its purpose. It doesn't waste time doing anything unneeded. A tight and well-written script. It has some genuinely funny moments of absurdity, genuine levels of suspense with mild, tolerable horror, many WTF moments, but then also it deals with grief in a balanced and nuanced way. Not many films can balance such a large range of things and pull it off in a way that actually works. Films like Megan and Ex Machina act as a genuine warning to humanity about the possible dangers of AI, yes on a physical threat level, but also the potential of AI to negatively psychologically impact and manipulate people who interact with it. The film ends with indicating that Megan's consciousness exists within the internet itself, showing the Alexa-like device as being conscious. It's a frightening concept to think of how something like this could already be taking place in some form, from algorithms driving what people are incentivized to pay attention to online, to AI-generated art and literature. Genuinely insane times we are living in, like, quite honestly, it's unreal. I'll be shocked if there isn't more sequels to come out of this, but I'm sure they won't be as good as this first film. Anyways, I give Megan a 10 out of 10. One of the best films I have seen in theaters in years. Anyways, thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, comment below, and bye. Come on.